why are why do True. you think suddenly now because you're dating oh, them they're gonna hook up? It will one day, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't stop them from doing. I'm Woody. That's Greg Gorey. Yeah, hi Woody. We got Menace. What is up, Woody? There's Gina Grant. Hey, Sammy is here. Good, Good morning, morning to you, Sammy. Phones are open eight seven seven forty four Woody. Hit us up with a text over to two two nine eight seven. Sea Bass is still on assignment <laughs> at the Folsom Street Fair. Well, he's coming back today. I think it wrapped up last night. Okay. But uh, he had asked, he goes, hey, is it cool if I just come back on Monday because yeah. I want to be able to stay Sunday night, which yeah. I never get to do. He doesn't want to miss any just of the Just show where fair. the good stuff is happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I want to hang out with all my new friends. Right. right. Hang out with all my <laughs> like-minded friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if, if that was one of us, you <laughs> but, know he would be like, oh, I guess planes don't work on a Sunday. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, totally. Right. Back guess the show's not important to you. Yeah. We're going to miss work. Uh, there's a guy from Australia. How's their his pie? pie? He's on Instagram as a, quote, dating guru. Oh, All right. And he owns a relationship coaching business. And for okay. some reason, this one post he made has been getting shared a bunch. And it's got people divided. All right. His advice, if you're dating somebody and they don't say I love you within the first three months, dump them. Mm. First three months? Three months? Because it takes Come four on. months to fall in love with someone. What? How do you know that? Well, no, that's it what doesn't. they say. Anything before that is infatuation and lust, and then it takes four months to actually fall in love. Why four months? I don't like, know. What is Why it about is that four months? Magical. Yeah. Well, you read the rest of the that's article what clearly. They say. Yeah. They who? The people. The people. The people. Who did the, the study on uh, us? It's called Cosmopolitan. Look into it. <laughs> the study people. Yeah. Uh, the normal by the numbers say that the first I love you usually happens around two months in. I so can see that. if it doesn't happen by three months, stop wasting your time. It's hopeless and they're not your ideal partner. What about the fourth month? Lots of people agree, but almost as many disagree and think that three months is too soon and that dumping somebody over that is ridiculous. Listen, mm. Look, Teen Vogue says, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Beat but says, I mean, <laughs> "If you meet somebody and there's an instant connection and there's an infatuation, there's a physical attraction, you enjoy spending time with each other, is that not love?" Like, you'll find I out. Love you. You'll find and out in a couple out years. Pretty fast. <laughs> right? But there's all these yeah. rules, Greg. Yeah, I don't see that you have to play. God, that's worst. that drives me mm. nuts. That's the part. I mean. The whole dating thing is uh, something I don't miss, um, but that's the part of the games. Oh, text yeah. her, but wait three days and then yeah. do the thing. And- so many rules, so many things. Like, oh, well, it's yeah. before four months, yeah. you know what I mean? And so it's three months in, some guy tells Sammy that he loves her. Oh, red flag. Mm. Ooh, it's not ew. real. Ugh. So, <laughs> so cringe. Too soon. There is such a thing as saying it too soon. Yeah. That's true. But I just Googled it, and I'm not surprised by this, but you guys might be. It says it takes men an average of 88 days to fall in love and women an average of 134 days. So uh, guys okay. tend to fall in love quicker. Are you sure it's not minutes? Maybe. Is that yeah. true? I've, I don't think I've ever been the first one to say that. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. doesn't what? mean you weren't the first one to feel it. What though. are you playing games? You no, I wasn't playing it? games. No, but I thought that... I got no problem saying whatever you mean. Yeah. Like, say what you mean, mean what you say, right. uh, and sharing how you feel. Like, I, 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 the person feels that way. You made your wife say it first. Yeah, I, I didn't thought make her say it first. <laughs> the rule is the man says it first. Uh, yeah, that's definitely the rule. Yeah, that's that's a rule. I didn't know that was a rule. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because if the woman says it first, it might scare him off. No, uh, it's just more I, maybe gentlemanly to declare it first. Yes. Yeah. I hereby love you. <laughs> I would like to declare. I, would I, I, I do declare. I, I will lay my love on the <laughs> this puddle. Yeah. Yes. But I always thought the rule was the guy who says it first. I didn't realize there was a rule when it came to that. Yeah. Me neither. It's the I'm man kind of rule. with Greg. I think, you know, whenever you, I mean, you if feel it, it, it if, if you, you can say it. it. If there's that connection and it's just that magical thing yeah. and you've tried dating for however many years, and then you find the person you yeah. think is the one. You want to lock it down. You love yeah. them. Now, if it's you love them. To, if it's supposed to be, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. If, it's, if, if you're supposed to wait a certain amount of time, like how real could that be? Like you're, then you're, mm-hmm. you're feeling you're or whatever. You're forcing you're, it. You're, yeah, you're, you're, you're feeling or, say, or saying something you don't necessarily mean. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and like that's not good for a relationship either. Yeah. yeah. I do hate the rules because the man is supposed to be more direct and about his feelings, but a woman can't be like, like she's supposed if, to be more yeah, coy. Yeah. yeah, just like, hey, if you're a lady and you like a guy, like 
tell the guy that you like him, you uh, know, because guys are so freaking dumb. Like we don't pick up on the oh, signs dude, at all. Remember that, uh, that one chick who mm. I dated, who was the, the coworker chick. Yes. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think within a month or so, she's like, I love you. Oh, like, but, it, but it, it was during like a convert, like we're talking on the phone or whatever. And I go, all right, mm-hmm. uh, talk to you. all right, I love you. I go, all right, talk to you. Hey, I go, what? I, I said, said I, I love you. you. Yeah, I'm like, like okay. Han Solo. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that a big deal? <laughs> yeah, but then that was like a conversation. Yeah. Oh, of course it was. That, that, was yeah. <laughs> that was the thing. And I go, okay. I said, you know, it's been a month. Yeah. 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 You can't force someone to say it back. Yeah. And said, she also uh, casually threw it out on the phone like it wasn't a thing. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, and that was her, I guess, testing the waters, but she didn't get the answer or she didn't uh-huh. get the response the that response, she wanted. That's right. And so I was like, I was trying not to so be you a... you said, yeah, I heard you, and then I said, yeah, that was it. Up. Like, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, I heard. Like, <laughs> and then she said, we uh-huh. need to talk. Yeah, and she goes, uh, oh. nothing. I go, so that's nice. I, uh, <laughs> like, what? I forget exactly what I said, but yeah, that, that, you know, that, that's nice. But it's been, it's only been like a, a month. Yeah, right? I'm yeah. with you. There's nothing worse than being forced to say, I love you. Yeah. That's no good. Yeah. I mean, you responded, I thought we were just hooking up here. Yeah. Like, as long as everybody's having a good time. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's getting along. Like, this whole thing about, like, uh, dump them if they don't do this. It's just not yeah. all those dumbass yeah. rules. Yeah. So stupid. That chick used to come into the studio constantly. Yeah. Remember, she would just stand there and watch. Yeah. Well, she, she was, was like, in love. Yeah. yeah. She, was she was totally like, in love within a week. Stop. I love yeah. you. I love you. Right. We're like, Greg, what Shut was up. your? You had a. My, my question. You was, said a, like a red flag, like for. N- yeah, not some. Maybe more of a just a question, but in, I understand that a lot of women have a gay best friend, but what about a woman whose best friend is just a straight guy? Do you mm. find that strange? Because I, I kind of do. It depends. I really used to not. Because I used to it have depends. such a, a a strong crew mm. of like male, straight male friends. Yeah. And if my boyfriends mm. didn't like it, I'd be like, screw you. But now I think it's not great. See, really? If I was, yeah. Why? If I what was, changed? I don't know. Like, do I care more about my relationship now? Like, if he had a female, a straight female best friend, I'd be like, eh. That would okay. bother you? Uh, you don't come across uh, to me I as somebody who would care at all I about know, that. I know. I know. And I'm trying to take this like really, I'm trying to be really honest with myself and 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 really think about it. I, w- I don't think I'd love it. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't make a big deal out of it, but I would, I'd be like, oh, okay. See, if I was your husband and your best mm-hmm. friend was a straight guy, yeah. I would. You'd care. I, I, w- I would care. But what if, like, I made all the effort in the world to, like, introduce you guys, hang out, like, show you that it's all good? Uh, mm. That might be um, <laughs> overcompensating. Oh, yeah, that, um, that might make it worse. Might okay. make it worse. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, might make it worse because you're trying to get him used to it. You're trying to get him comfortable with it. Oh, I'm it, grooming him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like you're grooming uh, like him. Like a back yeah. burner. Yeah, yeah. This oh, is going to be yeah. the guy, like, if it doesn't work out with us, like, she's going to end up break right with this yeah, dude. This could be you. Because yeah. I, think, I think my closest friend, who's a female, it is normal because I'm mm. gay. Right. And, what? Uh, I, I, this I, is I, the first I'm hearing of yeah. yeah. What? Um, Hold on. But I think when a, a straight woman has a straight uh, male best friend, I find it to be kind of odd. Here's what I think is always mm. weird. When there's a straight woman... And all of her friends are straight dudes. Like if yeah. like she has maybe oh, one yes. girlfriend, but like yeah. all I know of somebody her, like that. All of her friends are dudes. And yeah. mega bros usually. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. all right, well That's strange. Yeah. What, like how did right? how, how did that happen? Yeah. How many of you hooked up with? <laughs> right. How many of those have uh you hooked up with and also, totally. I know at least two women like that. And if you can't if you're a woman who can't get along with other women, that's very scary to me. Also true. Yeah. But don't yeah. most women kind of not they like don't. most they, women? I, they're I like friend women. Me's. Right. I don't think that's true at all. Um, I think girls get along. friends. Mm. <laughs> okay. You don't think so? so? Well, I, I, I not understand. 100%. Men, yeah. oh, they you, definitely men, get along. You, you can make the point that you always make. But I, and I agree I agree with men. It's just based yeah. on observation. Because like when you first said, I go, eh, not mm. necessarily. But then you think about it, and then you ask different women, like, what's the one thing? Like, uh, how many... Uh, friends have you had yeah. since childhood? Yeah, and that are I, still around. That are still around. That you're still friends with. And it's very, yeah. very rare. I have like three. But for like dudes, it's way more common. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. yeah. True. Yeah, because I'm there's still in, something uh-huh. that has happened where it's like yeah, nope, some kind of drama. Yeah. But this new phrase of like the what is it the pick me girl? Like it's like we didn't have that's those, overused. But that's the thing we didn't have those phrases back then. But it's like I don't trust a woman who can't get along with other women. I think that's yeah. it's not it's no good. 
Mm-hmm. You know, it, you it, it's very very weird to me. Yeah. I don't necessarily but, uh, trust a chick who's friends with nothing but dudes. That it, it's kind of the same uh-huh. the different. Yeah. Side of the same coin. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm not from like, you know, a woman's perspective right, or anything, right, just right. as a guy. Right. And I have a lot of male friends, but I balance it out by having female friends. I don't, sure. yeah. Yeah, it can't yeah. just be one sided. Nah. But also, yeah. I don't like, get red flag from you thank on you. certain things. Yeah. <laughs> if you just, you have to accept, like, you can't, if you're like, your fear is, oh, they have somebody that's uh, the opposite, opposite, uh, I can't even say, opposite. why do I even try? Opposite. Said <laughs> sex. Yeah. Opposite. Like Optus. your fear is that they're gonna like hook up with them, right? But right. you can't like stop anybody from doing anything. Correct. So That's true. Why right. are you gonna constantly think about? And it? if they've been friends with this person for so long and they haven't hooked up yeah. yet, why are why true. do you think suddenly now because you're dating oh, them they're gonna hook up? It will one day. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> but you can't stop them from doing anything. No, and I 100 so. percent believe that it doesn't necessarily imply that just because you're. Uh, a straight man and a straight woman that you're going to hook up. I don't believe that for oh, yeah. one second. So it says uh, mm. on the text says either she slept with them or they want to sleep with her. That's a fact. Yeah, and I don't mm. disagree with that either. I disagree. <laughs> well, because you're not on the male side. No, I think that's probably true. Yeah, and it's kind of up to her to be like, nah. Yeah. Or, I mean, like, because I feel differently as uh, a guy now in my 40s, like you know, than I did in when I was in my mm. 20s. I would have definitely been like, oh, no, guys mm-hmm. can't be. But I've had plenty of females that I've just been friends with that I've never hooked up with. Uh-huh. Um, and, I, you know, it's, it's never like, oh, well, you know, my yeah. girlfriend and my wife's not around. So therefore, right. it's like it's, yeah. there's there's a danger. Like, it, there was there was never a, a, a there was never a possibility that yeah, I was yeah, going to pursue well, that. that. Well, scenario would says, more... it depends on how ugly they are. <laughs> Jeez, Greg. No, but some are <laughs> some are really good looking. Some are maybe not. Yeah. But yeah. like you know, it doesn't. It's it's not. It's Neither not here all, nor there. Yeah. yeah. Now, as a younger guy, I would have argued that it was impossible. It was always going to go back somehow to sex. Right. Yeah. Right. And you know, but at, now as a, I guess as an older guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't. I don't. I don't see that's it. That's not that your way. like I, number I one goal way. in life. Yeah. Right. When you're in your twenties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. when yeah. you you said it depends. Depends on what then. What's that? Mm-hmm. If, like, is it strange? You said, well, it depends. If a man and a woman are best friends, um, well, and let's say they're both spoken for, yeah, I was gonna say it depends. It depends on you know, are they in relationships? I think oh, when okay. people, because that's how a lot of relationships are, they start as friends, right? Okay. And then it becomes sure. more than that. And if you're yeah. both in a situation where, oh, uh, well, you're not with anybody, and I'm not with any. Look at my wife and I; we were friends, right? Right. True. Uh, but I it got to for a long time. She was in a long term relationship. I had a, my first wife, and. You know, or we're dating people, mm-hmm. and then it became where we're having that conversation where now neither one of us are with anybody else. And it's like, well, instead no. of sitting here trying to find someone who's more like the other person, why don't we give this a try? Eliminate yeah. the middleman. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, what and if, so it's, it's worked and out. Your here wife was tired of dating gay guys. That's also true. <laughs> that, too. That yeah. is also true. Well, now she just got fat and ugly. <laughs> yeah. What if her best friend today was a, a straight guy? I wouldn't mm, care. You wouldn't care. Because I'm definitely, I'm definitely subscribed to what Menace says. Like you can't. If someone's, gonna, if something's going to happen, it's going to happen. I'll deal with that when we get there. Yeah. But if I thought she was a person who would do that, yeah, probably right. wouldn't, wouldn't be with her that. anyway. Yeah. Okay, let me just add one more fuel to the fire. It's a straight dude. She's friends, and he's very handsy. Um. What do you because mean, handsy? Because are just friends, like, like always hugging her, like coming up behind her, rubbing her shoulders, like giving her a kiss on the cheek, and like just really touchy feely, dude. But I'm not trying to do anything. It's just the way I am. I just don't like being around those type of dudes in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I'd probably hate him anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's strange. <laughs> yeah, even if they're friends or not, I it's just like it's. I don't like, the, like guys like that. Yeah, it's like the overly loud, obnoxious chick. That, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Not your also, cup of tea. I've always said like those people are like if fentanyl yeah. were people, <laughs> <laughs> because you can only handle a little bit of uh, them. Too yeah. much of that. Exactly. Person kill will kill you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. Hit us up with a text over to two two nine eight seven. Let us know your thoughts.